all the times I've known you You made me wanna be a better man I'd look into your eyes The words would pass between us, you'd understand story starts when I was 10 years old when yeah. I first, first started foster care. Yeah. It was like a new beginning of a second chance at life. The first chance wasn't very that enjoyable, you say. But um, foster care was like, kind of opened my eyes up to the possibilities that I actually have a life like yeah. I can actually do. And so I start striving for my goals. I wanted to be a doctor, but I, that was just too, like, that's a big commitment. <laughs> so yeah. I changed my goal. But, um, how did you, can you tell me how you ended up in foster care? Um, I guess I ended up from foster care because of my father. He wasn't a very good man at all to begin with. He was very abusive and some, among other things. And the person who saved me was my auntie. She was the first person who actually reached her hands out to me. Because mostly everyone was kind of sort of afraid of him. So they, um, so she helped me out. And she told me where I was supposed to go or who I was supposed to meet. And I ended up going to a group home. And she tried to keep my dad at bay for as much as she can. Because it depends on how long you're in a group home that they start sticking you in foster care. No one comes or, you know what I mean? It's, just, yeah. it's a process. So I was there for about maybe three months, you can say, give or take. More. But um, after that, I remember I had a meeting with new people. And they told me I was going to go to foster care. They were going to send me to foster parents and stuff like that. And told me, they just told me details about who my foster parents are and how foster care what goes on, like the rules and what yeah. it does for you and stuff like that. Yeah. At the time, I didn't really soak it all in. I just think it was just more of a big shock, like, like wow, like where am I going to go next, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, I just realized, like, yeah. But I went to my first foster parent. She was a nice woman. And <laughs> I guess I met a lot of foster parents, foster kids who went through foster care. Yeah. And let's just... I mean, most of them weren't very good. Like, they did a lot of bad things, too. I mean, they got in trouble all the time. I guess they didn't really have a clear head or clear mind or just yeah. too angry, too mad at life for what happened and stuff. Like, they're just stuck in, like, time or yeah. nothing moved on. And I felt really bad for them because they couldn't see what they had in front of them. So yeah. I met a lot of foster kids who were going through, like, a lot of stuff. But to me, I mean, I mean, I kind of went more, I went through more than what they did, but I guess, I don't know, it depends on who the person is and how you take at things. What, what got you through that time? I mean, I don't know, I guess, it wasn't any different from my first, like when I was growing up, so it wasn't any different. I mean, I was used to being on my own, on my own all the time, like, it was just me, right. you know. But, I mean, one person, there was one person in foster care, like, she was about, like, five years older than me, she was in the same foster parent and stuff like that, and. She was a very, she was an underdog person. She wasn't a very good role model at all. Like, if you look at her, you wouldn't think anyone would want to deal with her. But to me, she was like, like I don't know, somebody come, somebody to come save me. You know, just there for another, me. another foster kid. Yeah. She was, would she be? The, you know, I'm asking the kids. Who was the one person that loved you and and helped you? You know, by uh, loving you and caring about you. She was. She was the first person who actually actually really cared for me. I mean, I never had anyone. Like, I don't know who my mother is. She didn't want to do much with me. And I don't know. I don't know. I guess my mother was never... I guess I might... I do have siblings, but I don't know any of them. You know what I mean? Yeah. She was the first one who actually cared for me, actually loved me, and, you know, thought of the world of me. And it was a... You know, I felt kind of good, like, to actually be loved by someone. Yeah. And because of that, I just started moving forward. Like, I actually had someone who was... She really liked me. Yeah. <laughs> so you aged out of foster care. And what was that transition like for you? What were what um, were you fearful of? I guess I wasn't really fear of anything. I mean, I didn't have anything to go back to, so it was no point to looking back. But, I mean, I have more, like, I believe, I have faith that 
I may not have the greatest life at all, but I do believe that there is a better life for me, and I'm gonna fight for it. I mean, that's just all there is. I mean, as long as you, have, as long as you believe in yourself, you can go far. And I believe that. I don't know. I believe in my goals. And I believe in that I might become successful as long as I try as hard as I can. And that's it. You said you you thought about being a doctor, and so you. What are your dreams now? Uh, my dream is to become a mechanical engineer or a biochemistry engineer. Um, help people with lost limbs, you know, artificial limbs and stuff. Right. And, I don't know, start from the basics, I guess. Wow. Well, that's great. I, I, I think you'll get there. Yes. <laughs>